Okay, in this video, we are going to calculate lift. And just to remind everybody of what lift is, lift is the support of purchasing two items together divided by the support of each item individually, right? So what in this case, like if we wanted to calculate the lift of milk and cereal, we would take a 0 0.4 and divide it by the support of milk, 0 0.6, times the support of cereal, 0 0.6, right? So it comes out to be 1.111 or so. So um, all we need to do is uh, use our lookups. And so we've got everything in place, calculate lift uh, the way it is. So uh, we can start by referring to the support metric that we've already calculated. Uh, remember, because of order of operations, we're going to need to, um, you know, sort of wrap these, this multiplication inside um, some parentheses. And then we're just going to use two different H lookups to get the values that we want. So um, we're going to say H lookup here. And again, we're going to lock the column. And we've already got a name for the table lookup in this case. It's our support. We've already created that. We want to return the value associated with the second row for any match that's made. And we want an exact match. So that should be false. Uh, we're going to do the same exact thing because um, we've got to get look up milk. And in this case, this first silly example, we're also going to look up milk, um, but that's going to just get us rolling and we're going to clean that up later. It doesn't really have a whole lot of meaning in this data, but just to get the ball rolling, we're going to set that up. So we want it to look up the value above. We're going to lock the row. And we're using the table array again called support. We want it to return the second row. And uh, this is false and uh, sure. Uh, that's obviously not complete. So we're gonna go and fix it. Uh, this should be two comma false. And we just want to make sure that we've got all of our all of our uh, things right. So parenthesis, parenthesis. So let's see if that accepts. Right. And um, that's not really a meaningful value here. We're going to remove those later, but that should get us enough to get meaningful values everywhere else. So I'm going to just pull this around, check a couple of things, and then um, we should be good to go. So with the way these calculations are, the diagonal here doesn't really make a ton of sense. Um, so in this case, I would probably just remove it so it's not, you know, just sort of misleading. And maybe gray them out just so we like highlight that that's not something that we want to really consider. It doesn't really have a whole lot of meaning in this case. And uh, there we go. We that's you know pretty much what our lift is. Um, to test one of these values, let's take a look at the lift of bacon and eggs, right? So if we highlight this, um, the support of bacon and eggs is zero point three because there are three transactions that include both bacon and eggs. That is um, over the support of eggs times the support of bacon. 
And so you can see um, 0 0.5 and 0 0.3 is um, 0 0.15. Uh, when you take 0 0.3 and divide that by 0 0.15, you get two. Um, in other words, in the context of this problem, people are buying bacon and eggs together uh, at twice the rate that we would expect them to be buying them if they were purely at random. In other words, uh, they're clearly going out of their way to buy this uh, more frequently than they would if they were just purchasing, purchasing them at random. In other words, bacon and eggs is a pretty popular uh, thing for people to eat for breakfast. So they buy it together a lot. It looks like we've got a similar dynamic for orange juice and eggs. And you can sort of, you know, check those yourself. So the support of orange juice and eggs is 0 0.4. Uh, if you put that over um, 0 0.5 times 0 0.4 for eggs and orange juice, you also get two. So pretty straightforward uh, calculations there. So it looks like we've um, done our work. In the next video, I'll show you how to highlight some of these things to um, you know support your analysis and um, have a great day.